Hi folks, hope you're okay today. I want to share with you today uh, tips on street preaching and evangelism. And this is my uh, file, a file for research that I do. And I'll just get my, my uh, leaflet. Preaching um, by um, Ray Comfort and Kirk Cameron. You, so you can get a PDF of this. You just Google uh, tips for open air preaching. Uh, you can get basic information concerning this. So I'm reading out this for the team that helped me so that we can know what to do. And also for anybody else who's interested in uh, street preaching and evangelism. A YouTuber called Christian Anarchist got in touch with me uh, last week and asked me advice about uh, starting a street preaching ministry. So I'm going to read a few parts of this. It says Qualifications for an open air preacher. A good voice, naturalness of manner, speaks with confidence, good at using illustrations, the ability to think on your feet, a good knowledge of scripture, ability to adapt to any crowd, uh, a large loving heart, sincere belief in everything you say, entire dependence on the Holy Spirit, a close walk with God in prayer, and a consistent walk with men by a holy life. Preparation, be utterly convinced that God wants you to preach. Check your motives, learn as much as you can about public speaking, practice watching yourself in a mirror, study up, be prepared to face honest objections from hecklers. Recognise your dependence on the Holy Spirit. If you are a beginner, bring someone with you. Understand your success depends entirely on God. Uh, and remember, surely I am with you always, Matthew 28, 20. Set up. Preach only on public property. Elevate yourself by standing on a small stool or crate. Use the surrounding environment to amplify your voice. Never stand with the sun behind you. Preach with the wind, never against it. If possible, choose a location away from music, fountains, cars, etc. Bring some supportive friends with you. Drawing a crowd. Grab their attention right away. Try a mock funeral. Begin in the natural and then swing to the spiritual. Nothing draws a crowd like a good heckler. Bring some supportive friends with you. A crowd draws a crowd. Pros and cons. Don't talk to people. Do talk to people, not at them or worse, down to them. Do speak in a lively, confident manner. Do speak the right tone. Do find the right volume level for your voice. Do speak from your stomach. Do use lots of illustrations. Uh, do use echoes to draw a crowd, but handle them with patience, gentleness and humility. 2 Timothy chapter 2, 23, 26. Do be patient with echoes. Remember that sinners are spiritually blind. Do keep bringing the conversation back to the sinner's conscience. Do teach as well as preach. 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 24, 25. Acts chapter 5, 42. Do quote scripture frequently. Do be snappy and brief. Do remind your hearers of your motives. Don't be scared, Psalm 27.1. Speak boldly. Don't read or use notes. Commit your message to memory. Don't be soft. Don't talk too long. Don't let the meeting be broken up. Whatever happens, never lose your temper. Don't get caught up in arguments. Don't let an angry listener shake you. Dealing with interruptions. If the police interfere, keep a humble, respectful attitude. Generally, the police will respond favorably if you respect their authority. Drunks. It is generally useless to argue with a drunk. It is best to ignore him or have one of your helpers persuade him to leave. Debaters. It's fine to answer questions. You should even say that's a good question. But realize some people just want to argue. Keep your eyes on the cross. 
finish your job. Always remember to, to politely thank the crowd, hand out many tracks. Afterwards, if you have friends planted in the crowd, ask them for feedback. So that, that's just uh, some basic um, information uh, concerning uh, street preaching. And I'm just going to show a few, few things, a few observations that I've had over the last uh, four years in, in doing, doing this street preaching. Um, I, I think, first of all, try and root your ministry in, a, in, in church, church-based ministry. Not a lot of churches have a vision for street preaching or evangelism. Uh, so it's difficult in this climate, but if you can, try and root your ministry in your local church or a local church. The reason being that if you look at my video on leadership, leadership is plural, it always works with a team. Uh, and it's good to work with a team. So try and work your uh, evangelism, street preaching with your church, that your church elders and leaders be are behind you that you're accountable to them that's really important because a lot of street preachers are lone wolves and uh, it's not good because you don't become accountable and then you you might do things wrong in your preaching and teaching on the street and, and nobody's there to tell you that you, you're going wrong and, and that's not good it's not healthy so try and build a team around your ministry from your local church secondly build a team you need people to help you uh, and I would have some training for your team. Always have a kind of rule, list of rules, do's and don'ts, like this piece of paper that I've just read to you. And uh, have uh, some rules so that if people join you, they know where, where the boundaries are. A lot of times over the years, I've had people help me and I've not given them any rules or training. And I, I regret that. And I think it's important that if people join you, that you give them a rule, a, a 10 point uh, rules or this this PDF of the tips for open air preaching would be helpful and, and, and then implement a little bit of training for your helpers so that because street preaching is very very tough and those who are helping you need guidance and help and encouragement how to conduct themselves in, in the midst of that kind of ministry I think thirdly which is more important is prayer soak your ministry in prayer before during and after Get as many people to pray for you as you can. Um, and then the actual mechanics of preaching, just find out what is best for you. You might want to use a, uh, a microphone, you might want to use your voice, you might want to step on, stand on step ladders on a board, you might want to debate, you might just want to use a clipboard. I don't know, your style is different from my style. I like very often just to stand on my feet and preach, sometimes on step ladders. And I don't use a mic very often. So that's my style, but you might have a different style. So find the style and method that is, suits you and your team. And in your team, you might have different styles. Some people might be good on one-on-one. -on -one. Some people might be good at debating. Some people might be good at just preaching. Some people might be good at using clipboards. I don't know, but just find the style that suits you, okay? I, I copy or am influenced mainly by, principally by uh, Jeff Rose and Jeremiah Cryer Ministries. I model... A lot of what I do from them. So you can go and look at them. But there are different street preachers out there. There's Jesse Morell, uh, there's uh, Ray Comfort, and there are two different, completely two different styles. But find the style that suits you, what is best for you in your street preaching. And just keep doing it and um, just go wherever God wants you to go, uh, where there's people, just go and you know the Lord bless you. I hope that's been a blessing to you. Um, just a few things there uh, always try and keep to the gospel be willing to answer questions make sure you've prepared your mind and heart so that you've studied questions before you get there so you, you're prepared to answer questions but always keep back to the gospel when you can God bless you, take care